If you are Joe Biden, right now you should be very concerned. After the first general election presidential debate, Joe Biden struggled and has been struggling in the polls. Today, we're going to dive deep, look at aggregates, focus in on battleground states, and look at job approval ratings. All this will give a picture of where the race currently stands. So let's get started with Real Clear Politics General Election Aggregate. This is combining a lot of polls to give you an overall big picture of the election. And right now, we can see Trump is leading by 2.7 percentage points. But it hasn't always been this way. Let's rewind. Let's head back to the end of last year, the start of this year. Trump was still ahead. But look at what happened. When we hit March, March was the State of the Union. Trump was leading, and he continued to lead, but look at this. After the State of the Union, by April 6, we saw Trump was only up by around half a percent. So the race had narrowed. And if you watch many of my videos from this time frame and the months after, you'll hear me say, this is an extremely close race. Well, it's hard to say this is a close race anymore, because after the disastrous debate in late June, you can see that the, the divide has reappeared. Trump is back in the lead by a good margin. But the national picture isn't how elections are won. Elections are won with electoral votes state by state. So let's look at some key state polling. First, let's go into what we call the Sun Belt, starting here with Arizona. Actually, Biden has been in trouble in Arizona for a long time. We see when you go back to start of this year, end of last year, Trump was up by almost five percentage points. Now that of late has only grown. The difference between Trump and Biden is now 5.7 percentage points, and Biden, through the course of this election, has shown no sign of improving his standing. And in many ways, I think the Biden campaign is starting to realize the Sun Belt just can't be won. They've really shifted their rhetoric and shifted their focus to these northern states, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. To exhibit that, I want to go and look at Wisconsin. This right here is Wisconsin, Trump versus Biden, and this shows you very clearly the disaster that was the debate. If you go back to right before the debate, June 14th, a few days, weeks before the debate, this was essentially a tied race. But you look at the fallout of the debate, Biden has plummeted, and now Trump is up by three percentage points. These states that I just mentioned, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, historically are incredibly close. They barely went to Joe Biden in 2020, and most of them barely went to Trump in 2016. And now we see Trump leading in the polling by three percentage points. Now, why is this? Obviously, there's huge concern over Biden's age, and the debate didn't help. But it's more than just that. This right here is Joe Biden's job approval. At the start of his presidency, Trump had just left office, and he had a pretty high approval, a spread of 20 percentage points. But by August of that first year in office, 2021, the disapproval and approval rates crossed. And ever since then, Joe Biden has been underwater. We saw in March of 2023, it got a little bit closer, slightly higher approval, but since then, it's all been downhill. And as of today, after a few years in his presidency, here we are. A disapproval rate, 17 percentage points above his approval rate. When you look at jobs, when you look at the economy, Joe Biden is underwater. That, combined with a concern about his age and mental acuity, really puts Biden in an awful position. And now it's time to see how this shapes up. Will Democrats replace Biden? It's a possibility. As polls continue to come out, the pressure may mount. But also, I'll caution, we're still early in this race. While Trump is now leading, I can confidently say that. There are still multiple months here where the race can change, take twists and turns. Trump's leading early, but that doesn't mean it's over yet. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed because we have a busy political season coming up.